Alright guys, I just played two games. I won the first game, I lost the second game. Second game I made a careless mistake, like I gave away my bishop, or I gave away my knight by accident. Uh, the first game I, I clobbered this guy in like a dozen moves I think. So we are going to put this next game out here and we'll see what happens. This guy's invited me to play. And I'll be black this time. Let's do it. Let's offer some uh, sharp retort for his uh, king pawn advance. Ooh, that's weird. Should I return the favor? Let's, let's move this up. I'm going to convert this into a, a queen side move. And he just takes it. Huh. And he moves forward. That's interesting. Let's do this. That, that's typically a bad move, but for the way my opponent's playing, I think this could be a acceptable way, acceptable way to proceed here. Now his bishop's going to take this. I can put my queen right here, forcing his bishop to be stuck. So now he's got to protect his bishop. Now I'm in check. Let's do that. Now, if he eats that, my knight's gonna be right here. Now his bishop's completely in trouble. See that? He has a knight and a queen. And he can't retreat because his king's back there. That would be an exposed check. So he's gotta come down with a knight right here. Or a pawn down here. He, he went with the pawn route. Let's take it, because then I can eat his rook here. He eats back with his pawn, I put him in check here, after he eats that, then his rook's in danger. Ah, oh, look at that. Not bad, that was pretty good. I should have ch chosen a different route. Let's move this. So his, his queen's going to eat my knight now. And then we'll be even again. So let's put my bishop here. So now I can still threaten his rook. Now he's going to eat that. I'll move this here. And he has to move his knight down. Otherwise, yeah, there we go. So I'm going to... I'm going to do this. Now I got my rook in play. So now I threatened this pawn right here by, by castling. He's going to try to protect that. Let's put this right here, my rook. I want to take command of this file. See where his king is? He has to move his king out of the way. He might move his knight right here. Oh, he just castles. That's fine. Let's put this rook right here. All right. What is this knight doing? Not really sure. Let's 
let's get more pressure on, on this square right here. Now, his rook's right there. I could just take it. I don't see any problem with that. Yet. Let's do it. I want to get that thing out of the way. I want my I want my rook here. If I let him eat that, then my I would have to move my rook out of the way. Now, as black, um, you know, having a draw is acceptable. To be honest, it really is. Now let's get my rook in play. Look at this. He commands this big T right here. Next I'm going to push up this pawn. And that'll threaten his knight. He needs to act really fast. He can put me in check. That doesn't really accomplish anything though. It just puts my king in a more active spot. Now he might put his rook over here start eating my pawns. That would be a... If he does that... I can take this knight here. See, my, my bishop can eat this pawn, eat this knight. His pawn eats that. I check with my rook, and now I, I can take his knight. <sighs> yep. That's pretty much what I expected. So I can move this here. Let's do it. Let's start us going. It's not going to check. Now his knight's in danger. So now I'm going to be two pieces versus his one piece. He's going to eat that pawn. I'll eat his pawn by checking up here. Let's check. Oh, I'm checked. Sorry. Oh, he's gonna take my pawn. I have not, I can't do anything about that. Let's get my king in safety. Dang it! Dang it! That's fine. I'll start eating him from the side. Check. Now I'm going to take that pawn. Alright. So let's eat this. So he, his only way of winning is to get this pawn over and queen it. He's going to check me again, so I, I anticipated that. Put my king here. He's going to check me again, probably. I'll just put my king over here. Then my king's safe. There you go. Now what? He can if he wants. Let's threaten to take his uh, pawn here. I'm going to destroy this whole pawn side. That was weird. Okay. So I, I doubt he can get that pawn over there. But if I have to, I'll sacrifice my knight. In which case, I have these two pawns here to, to march over and get my queen. Then he's dead. <sighs> now he needs to be careful, because I can... 
I can force something here if he scurries too far over. So he needs to move this pawn right now. Oh no, he can't. He can't. I can move my pawn though. So look, bam. There's no way he can beat my, my pawn from getting there. I'll get there first. Let's march it. Do you see what's going to happen? I'll get there first. Let's keep marching up here. He's going to try to... If he puts his rook there, that, that'd be a useless move. So I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to check his king. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Oh well. Let's threaten his rook a little bit. Harass him. Where's he going to go? Basically, he's hoping that I just make a mistake. All right. So now I can check his 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 king. Let's check his king again. Now I could have put my my knight here and offer to steal his uh his dude, but I can I can do this. Now I can protect my pawn now. There you go. What now? What now? That can just march my my king up here. He can't he can't capture my my rook. See, I'll just do this. He's probably gonna resign. Hmm. Resilient. Let's get a rook. We'll make it interesting. <laughs> All right. Now let's get my my knight, my king over here. So basically, I'm going to force him, force his king back to this other side. He's resigned. That was a good game to whoever that was. Hope you guys enjoyed that.